Oh, so great. If, yeah. if they want to do that. Around your neck. Yeah. This, it's how to, we have to have this to make sure that we are able to get in. And we made it actually. So I didn't have to rate in freezing cold last year, so I'm lucky. Actually, I, I'm freezing this too, so. <laughs> you may? I need my bag. 
battery life. Yeah. Hi, Melissa. How are you, dear? I'm fine. Nice to see you. Nice to see How's your you. family? Fine. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Lori. How are you? Hi. 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 No, Hi, Laura. Nice Hi. to see you. Hi, Hi there. How are you doing? Hi. Hi, Hi. Hello, Chris. How are you doing? Hi, Stephanie. Nice to see you. How are you? Hi there. How are you? Nice to meet you, too, Tara. Thank you. Hi there. Oh, okay. Give me five. I told him that. Oh, you told him not to? Okay. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good to see you again. Hi. Hi. How do you do? Hi, Annie. Nice to see you, too. Hi. How do you do? How are you? How do you do, Bob? Fine. Hi. How are you? Nice to see you. Hello. How are you doing? Great. Boy, what a crowd. You guys are doing such great work. Now, how do, we, how do you want us to set this up so that it'll work? They have a few things they'd like to do. Where do you want me to stand? Over here? Hmm? Or where? In the middle? Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. There you go. Mr. Vice President, if you could just set up behind the rules and get people in front of you. Okay. That'd be good. There we go. Okay. Now, don't, get, don't let me block anybody out. Okay. Here, you can. There we go. Make sure everybody can see the camera with both eyes. Now, you've got some presentations, do you? Um, okay, go ahead. Why don't you... Okay. This is our plan for the plant. Yep. Great. Great. Let me see now. We kids believe that if we could show you the world through our eyes and how beautiful it really is, everyone would want to save it. When one kid feels strongly about the environment and lives their concern, Incredible things happen in the town or city where that kid lives. You guys have seen that, haven't you? Our world leaders must think more about saving energy and using safe, clean renewables. If we destroy our world, we destroy ourselves. Many adults have decided that the Earth's environmental problems are too big to solve. The kids don't give up that easily when it comes to the long-term future. We understand that adults have a lot of things on their minds, but that's no excuse for doing less for our Earth. Our dependence on fossil fuels endangers our hope for a clean, safe future. Environmental problems are fixable. It's time for a change in the way we use energy. In the past, world leaders have only thought about the present, but now we must protect our future. It's time to shift to clean and safe energy sources. Many say that here in this first Kids World Council, we are making history. We kids say that in fact it's just the opposite. We're working together to make our future. Know it, live it, share it, push it, grow it. Great. Thank you very much. Do I get to keep this? Yes. Do I? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. I'm going to put this right over here. Two years ago, young people came to the White House gates, knocking on the door, trying to get in. They were not let in, but awareness of the environment was greater. Environmental problems are knocking at our door just as the young, chi just as the young children did at the White House gate. We have, opened, we have chose to open our doors, and the government must do the same. Hmm. And now I guess we've got a few questions for you, and so I guess I'll start that off. Um, I wanted to know, Mr. Vice President, how are you, as Vice President, planning to go about relaying our plans for the future and plans for the uh, globe to the President and to other branches of the government and on a more personal level to your family? Mm. 
Well, first of all, I remember very well that day two years ago when you guys marched up to the White House gate and the Secret Service is really filled with nice people, but somehow the voice coming through that metal uh, speaker made it seem like uh, you guys weren't being allowed to get your message across to the, to the White House. Well, the doors are open now. This time you got into the White House and, and uh, you're delivering your message to the right place. I remember that same day that uh, I was at a hearing in the Senate with Senator John Chafee and you guys came and uh, testified and you made a big difference. I also remember one year ago when I was in Orlando with uh, a great many of you, I remember the solar cooker and the electric car and all kinds of things that you had on display there. And I remember the town hall meeting that we did and I remember the great ideas that you all shared with me and this statement that came out of the meeting in Orlando is really a terrific statement. I plan to talk to the president later today about what you have presented here. Uh, I plan to share it with the key officials throughout the administration that deal with uh, environmental policy and energy policy. And in fact, I have a, a weekly meeting right here in this office with all of those key officials. And I'm going to uh, read this to them and uh, share your ideas with them uh, later this week. Where my own family is concerned, I've told you in the past that it was my children, and I've got a picture of my kids on my desk over there. Let me get that for you. They're the ones that uh, really have uh, been uh, the most active in my house. Even though I talk about the environment all the time, they're the ones that come up with the best ideas on, here you can pass that around if you want to look at it. They're the ones that come up with the best ideas on what to do. And uh, so based on their enthusiasm and commitment, I asked uh, some environmental groups to prepare a, a big analysis of exactly what we could do to change the White House and the house where we live, which is a big, you know, it's a big house. Uh, it's the official residence of the vice president. And there's a terrific plan that's now being implemented, and you're going to be hearing more about it later on. But uh, all through the White House, we're making changes. I was looking for these new light bulbs we have and uh, over there you can see them <coughs> if you're interested and there are lots of changes that we're making here and uh, in the house where we live. Great. Mr. Vice President? Yes. Is the environment going to get more money from the federal budget? Yes it is. The budget just came out last week and uh, the environmental groups that were briefed on it that put out a statement saying at long last, here is a, an Earth budget, a budget that really gives the importance to the environment that it deserves. We have to fight to preserve that budget uh, as it goes through the Congress, but uh, I'm optimistic about it. Mr. Vice President, we wanted to present to you one of, as the Youth Advisory Board, we wanted to present to you one of our first projects in that this is a unique project in that it's um, a vote, a kids choose vote is what we're calling it. Mm -hmm. And we've selected four topics, different environmental topics. Those are saving and planting trees, mm -hmm. reducing garbage, conserving water, and preserving wildlife. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put these four topics on a ballot and advertise them in different ways, send them out, get them to as many kids as possible around the United States, and have them vote <coughs> on which one of the topics that they would they most are concerned about and would like to mm -hmm. do do work about. We're going to launch a national campaign about, about that project. And um, so, and this will be collected during Earth Week. Mm -hmm. And so, we know that you're a strong environmentalist yourself and also kind of an inspiration for other environmentalists. And um, basically, we wanted to know if you would support our efforts in getting this to the youth of America by possibly making a public appearance to maybe endorse what we're doing and try and promote the project to kids or support us in some sure. way like that. Sure. Okay, so this will this will 
I don't have to go to Orlando, do I? <laughs> I don't think so. Although, <laughs> this time of year, it would be nice. <laughs> we, we would all, uh, we're also wondering if you would maybe give the ballot um, to your children, your children that are under 18. Uh, yep. Be glad to. Um, Can't guarantee how they'll vote, but... <laughs> That's okay. okay. Yeah? Um, can the government, like, use solar cars to, for police cars instead? Because if you guys are the first ones to use it, um, then the prices for solar cars would drop, mm. so other people might use it. So mm. can you guys be, like, the leaders? Is there any point? Well, uh, let me tell you what we are doing. There, um, solar cars are, are still at a stage where they don't yet have the, the range that uh, a car that runs on gasoline has. And so uh, there would be a lot of resistance to having police cars, for example, be solar cars because the bad guys would be able to get away if they went, uh, if they went over a certain number of miles. But there are cars uh, called hybrid cars that run part of the time on solar electric energy and part of the time on efficient uh, uh, gasoline engines or engines of other kinds. There are also uh, some promising other new possibilities uh, such as fuel cells. There uh, is disagreement about uh, some of these technologies, but let me tell you what we are doing. We just started this. I asked the uh, heads of the big three U.S. car companies, General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler, to come in here to this office, and we talked with them for a long time, and we came up with an agreement that the car companies here in the United States are going to work with the national laboratories, defense department, and the other uh, areas of scientific expertise in the federal government, and top engineering schools uh, around the country to set a goal that within 10 years, we will create mass marketable automobiles that have a 300% increase, a three times increase is a better way to say it, a three times increase in uh, the fuel efficiency at the same uh, performance levels as current automobiles. And they're hard at work on that right now. And we think that they're gonna find breakthroughs that may make them uh, able to come up with even larger increases in fuel efficiency because they may go to uh, substitutes for the internal combustion engine. And uh, it may or may not be solar electric. It, I, the majority of them think right now that maybe uh, something other than solar electric will be the, the, the kind of vehicle that they come up with. But they're going to do the best they can to see which is the best. Okay. Why don't we take a few more good photos? A few more quick photos? Yeah, quick Just do a group. All right. Uh, okay, and then, I mean, some of you guys can, some of the ones that are a little bit shorter can come stand in front of me. What about that? Do you think that describes you? Okay. <laughs> not for long, not for long. I hope not. Chris, you're a little taller. There you go. Don't get too low. No, no. Okay. Just do a little bit. There we go. This way. Okay. Yeah, smile. Come on. Come on. Great. Okay. This is from our organization, Israel, yeah. um, in Florida. We came up with our plan for the planet, and this weekend in Washington, we put our plan into action and made it a reality. Great. That's good for you. Awesome. Do you really? That's great. That's Enough wonderful. Right Pardon me? Enough for me. Okay. <laughs> good. Good. All right. We got that? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that makes you superheroes, Sam. But that sounds like a group of superheroes. You are. Okay. All right. Very Thank good. You. Thank you. Well, let me get at the front door here, and I'll shake hands with all of you as you leave here.
Thank you. Okay, I'll look forward to getting your letter. Okay. Bye, Jeremy. Bye, Chris. Bye, bye, Maria. Bye, Antonio. What's that? Are they going to give it to me? Thank you very much. Great. Thank you, Stephanie. Bye, Laura. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Yes, I will. Where are you from, Benji? Arkansas. I thought I recognized your accent. Is this for you? Yeah. Last time I didn't get in Florida, I didn't get around. Where in Arkansas are you from? Greenbrier. Thanks. You're welcome. There you go. Whoops. Got it? Bye, Emily. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. I gave you a book on clear cutting, and I hope you'll look through. Yes, I will. Thank you. Thanks, Laura. Bye, Corey. Thank you. Bye, Melissa. I got a quick question for you. Um, I was wondering if you do a, one of our kids Earth flag squares for us. Um, we've been asking you, said you would, except we were wondering when you'd be able to do this. For sure, I'll be glad to. Have you sent it to me? Yes, um, we have It's been hard to. Flag squares for us. Um, we've been asking you, said you would, except we were wondering when you'd be able to do this. For sure, I'll be glad to. Have you sent it to me? Yes, um, we have It's been hard to try to. Here, Ben. Melissa sent an uh, earth flag square for me and make sure that I get back to her on. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye, Laura. Thank Laura, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vice President, Bye, for your Josh. time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Very, very much. You're welcome. Bye, Damien. Bye. Could you sign my Yes. Sure. It's John. Yep. Are you a pet? Okay, and I'll check on it. What's your number? There you go. Okay. Bye, Anna. Thank you for the folder. Thank Bye, you John. It's always a pleasure. I'm glad you're still hard at work on this. Great. I'm glad you're out there. Well, thank you very much. Keep it up. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye, Emily. Can you sign my... Sure. Do you have a pen? No, I don't. He got it. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> bye bye. Nice to see you. <laughs> Always is. Roy Gamsey is the uh, executive director.